So welcome back to our traditional baking cure uh, video. Um, before we put the bacon in, I just thought I'd show you these pieces of meat here. You can actually start to see here, there's a tiny bit of white mould starting to grow. This is pig's cheek, or guacansalo as I think it's pronounced, or jowl. And all I've done again is it's a baking cure, salted skin on pepper, a lot of pepper on this one, and these two have been in for I think about three or four weeks in fact, so they've been hanging in the fridge. Now there's nothing special about this fridge at all really, it's just a standard Zanussi fridge, it's uh, got the cooling on the rear there, we've got a glass shelf here and you can, uh, if I just pan down a little, you can see it, it's just got some alcohol free beers in the bottom and I tend to also keep some waters in here, but all I've done to modify it is in effect is we've got some very thin wooden slats, so they're just literally sat um, at the side. I, I normally use these in my smoking chamber. This is just some metal piping that I flattened at the ends. So it's just metal pipe work from a wardrobe and they just enable me to hang these lovely IKEA hooks on top like so, and it gives a really nice area then to put the bacon where it's just going to come around. So effectively we're looking for all that salt that's been absorbed on the outside to permeate through to the inside. But tonight what we're going to do, I'm just going to leave them to dry overnight. And then tomorrow I'm going to do some smoking. And they're going to get cold smoked and then they're going to go in here for a whole week. So all we do is take the strings, you can clearly see, so there's my two holes I've knotted at the back. I'm just going to hook them over. Let's just put them in one by one. Let's see if I can get it over. There we go. That's the first one in. So I've got one there. Put one in here. And then the last two. So two more at the front. So that's just going to let them dry off. Now I'm going to leave the meat tray in, just in case we get any fluid dripping out, which I doubt we will. That just keeps the fridge a little bit clean. After a couple of days, I'll take that out again, and we'll be able to put some more drinks in, or maybe I'll make something else. So we'll just make sure that they're evenly spaced. Just move that one back a bit. This is the easy thing about having the removable shelves, just makes it nice and easy. So we're just looking effectively for this meat to get what's called a pellicule. It's like a slight stickiness on it. And that stickiness will enable the cold smoke to stick to it really well. 